Welcome to the lesson Mixing Substances. This lesson has been designed for a 30 minutes lesson period. This lesson comprises of five segments. Looking around us. Our science lab. Mr. SPI will tell you about. Song. And what have we learned today? This video is designed with fun with science in mind. You will have a fun time watching the segment and enhancing your knowledge on the concepts you have learnt in school. In segment looking around us, we will learn Unsafe substances and how they should be handled with care. Unsafe substances can cause harm, ill or even death. Uses of mixing substances In segment R Science Lab, we will learn about Different substance comes in different shapes, colors, textures and smells. In segment Mr. SPI will tell you about, we will learn about substances that are mixed can be separated. In segment songs, we will have a fun time singing a song about mixing substances. In segment What Have We Learned Today, we will see the important points from these lessons. Hello everybody! My name is Mr. SPI. S for science, P for private, and I for investigator. Today, I am your host. Whoa! Welcome to the Science Zone. From here, I will take you to explore the world of science. Today, our mission is to learn about mixing substances. Hello friends, there are many unsafe substances around us. They should be handled with care. They have labels and symbols. We use hazard symbols to show that some substances are dangerous. Today, I want to show you some common hazard warning symbols and what they mean. I will also give you examples of unsafe substances and tell you about the harm they can cause. This symbol is put on substances like mercury, bromine and sodium cyanide. These substances, if swallowed, can make you ill and can even cause death. This symbol is used to mark substances like ethanol, petrol and kerosene. They can easily catch fire, so make sure you keep them far away from heat sources. You can see this symbol on the bottle of sulfuric acid and concentrated sodium hydrochloride. These substances can cause damages to skin and eyes upon contact. 
substances like sodium and potassium can explode easily. That's why this symbol is put on the container in which these substances are kept. Substances like cleaning agents are dangerous if swallowed. You can see this warning symbol on the container. Friends, although they can be dangerous, many of these substances are useful as well. So, that means that we have to be extra careful when we need to use them. Remember, safety first. There are many unsafe substances around us. They should be handled with care. They have labels and symbols. We use hazard symbols to show that some substances are dangerous. These substances, if swallowed, can make you ill and can even cause death. Substances like sodium and potassium can explode easily. Substances like cleaning agents are dangerous if swallowed. You can see this warning symbol on the container. Hello friends! Not all substances are harmful or dangerous. In fact, we are surrounded by lots of substances that are safe, useful and necessary in our daily life. Today, I'm going to show you a few samples of substances that come in different shapes, colors, textures and smells. Substances like tapioca flour, baking powder, milk powder and wood flour are in the form of powder. Substances like salt and sugar are in form of crystals. Can you see the color of these substances? Yes, tapioca flour, baking powder, salt and sugar are white. But milk powder and wheat flour are yellowish. These substances also have a different textures. Sugar feels coarse. And baking powder feels very smooth. These substances can be made with water. Let's take a look at what happens when you mix sugar in water. Yes, you can see that sugar disappear and the water is clear. Would you like to taste it? Mmm, sweet! Now, I want to mix a wheat flour with water. see that the color of the water has changed. Why? That's because the fine particles of flour have dissolved in the water. 
Okay, guys, I've got to go now. And after this, Mr. SPI will show you how to separate some mixtures. Hello, friends. You have learned about mixing substances. Actually, some substances that are mixed can be separated. Today, I will show you how to separate a mixture of substances. Here is a mixture of iron fillings and sand. How do you separate it? Easy. Just use a magnet like this. See, the iron fillings will be attracted by the magnet and that leaves the sand behind. Now, there are small stones in the sand. Can you see them? Okay, how do you separate this mixture? Yes, use a sieve. The sand will fall through the sieve, leaving the small stones behind. Now, look carefully at this bottle. Yes, this bottle contains a mixture of cooking oil and water. Use a separating funnel to separate this mixture. When the tap is opened, water will flow into the beaker, leaving behind the cooking oil in the separating funnel. This is a mixture of salt and water. Can you tell me how we can get the salt out from the water? Simple! We separate this mixture by heating it until all the water has evaporated. The water will evaporate into the air, leaving behind the salt in the evaporating dish. This is a mixture of fine sand and water. Can we separate this mixture with a sieve? I guess we can, but the best way to do it is by filtration. The water will flow through the filter paper, leaving behind the fine sand in the filter funnel. Hmm, you have learned a lot about mixing substances. Discuss with your teacher how you can separate other mixtures. See you soon. Bye. Different substances have different colors, different feel and smell. To see and you can tell How the weird can be substances Some are on Others dangerous Mixing substances Can form a mixture To separate them as your teacher Different substances Have different colors Different feel and smell and you can tell Mixing substances Can form a mixture To separate them Please ask your teacher In this lesson, you have learned about mixing substances. 
we have seen unsafe substances around us and how to handle with care. There are some common hazard warning symbols and what they mean. Some symbols and labels on containers tell us if the substances are harmful. Labels is used to give instructions on how to handle substances safely. Symbols show the harm that may be caused by substances. The label best before means it should be taken before the written date. Detergent, bleaching agent and mosquito coils are safe but if not used properly can cause harm. In segment R Science Lab, Ibrahim has shown you that different substances have different properties. Wheat flour, milk flour, baking powder and tapioca flour are in the form of powder. Salt and sugar are in the form of crystals. Tapioca flour, baking powder, salt and sugar are white, but milk powder and wheat flour are yellowish in color. These substances have also different textures. Sugar feels coarse, but baking powder feels very smooth. Ibrahim has shown you these substances can mix with water. When you mix sugar in water, you will get clear solutions. This is because the sugar disappears in the water. But when you mix a wheat flour with water, the color of water will change. You will get milky solution. That's because the fine particles of flour have dissolved in the water. You have learned that a mixture of substances can be separated. Mixtures are formed when two or more substances are mixed together. Substances that have been mixed together can be separated using a magnet, using a sieve, evaporation, filtration, using a separating funnel. The best way to separate a mixture of iron filling and sand is by using the magnet. This is because iron filling is attracted by the magnet. To separate small stones in the sand is by using the sieve. This is because the sand will fall through the sieve. Use a separating funnel to separate a mixture of cooking oil and water. This is because the water will flow through it and leave the cooking oil in the separating funnel. Separate a mixture of salt and water by heating it until the water evaporates. This is because the water will evaporate into the air. That's all for today. I hope you will remember what you learned from Ibrahim and me at The Science Zone. Goodbye.